Ah, oh, I can't believe this has just happened. Hey guys, this is Frozen Wish to you here, and welcome back to another uh, video. And today, I am going to be doing a trailer review. Oh, sorry, scratch that. A trailer rant on the uh, new teaser trailer for the live action How to Train Your Dragon r remake. I can't believe this is a real movie. I still can't believe it. Uh, so yeah. Now if you know me so well, yeah, I will admit that I did not hate this idea at first. I was like, okay, maybe you can do something with it. Maybe there could have been something that uh, was like worth um, that, that could have like made this movie watchable. Because, let's be real here, um, you could have at least, um, have a, you could have had a good cast, uh, like, including, you know, you know, like, the, you know, Hiccup and Astrid, you know, you could have had, like, a tolerable cast. Heck, Astrid, uh, I, I can come up with a few, um, actresses who, uh, I think would, uh, make a perfect Astrid. Okay, maybe not like on the level of America Ferreira but you know still like a a good fit for it like McKenna Grace uh, as I said for like and there could have, you could have like you know done something with it at least but when I heard those these updates that castings and all that stuff yeah I've completely put my foot down on this one I was like yeah this movie's gonna suck and then there's a trailer for it. And oh my goodness. This looks even worse than I expected it to be. Like, I knew this chair was going to be bad. Don't get me wrong. But I did not. I was not prepared for how atrocious it looked. First of all, who in the hell asked for a How to Train Your Dragon live action remake? I mean, seriously, DreamWorks, out of all you know, the, the, the movies you could have like made, done a live action remake for, How to Train Your Dragon is the one you pick? Your best franchise? Like, no. Like, no, fuck no. Um, no. Like, hell no. Like, why not the Monsters vs. Aliens remake? I think that that's one of the DreamWorks uh, movies that I think uh, deserves a remake or maybe even Sinbad, Sinbad and the Legend of Seven Seas, uh, The Road to El Dorado. I actually would tolerate th those remakes, uh, but no, instead you chose this, oh, what's next? Are you going to do a Mega Mind remake or a Rise of the Guardians remake? Oh, I'd love to see you fail like so, like DreamWorks. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I honestly, I think I'm done with remakes now. I mean, they're they're not even trying anymore. Like, and I I don't think that that this is the uh, the um, animation um department of DreamWorks. Uh, I think this is like the live action side of them. Like you know when DreamWorks put out some live action movies like Saving by Private Ryan, for example. I think that that's the DreamWorks that that's making this. I'm not sure about that, but yes, yeah, still. Yeah, DreamWorks has given us the wild robot, but that does not, but, I'm sorry, but that does not make me a fan of DreamWorks. Yes, I I still adore the wild robot, but that doesn't uh, say shit, because yeah, DreamWorks is still, still like pretty low right now, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to, to that, to that mediocre looking, uh, overhyped as hell Dogman movie. Like, why are people even hyped for it in the first place? Uh, yeah, and, and, uh, and no, and to no surprise, because you know, uh, DreamWorks has its uh, blind the shells. Uh, yeah, they um like praise the hell out of this trailer just to spite Disney and say, oh DreamWorks, uh, and Disney can, st oh oh uh, DreamWorks, uh, you, you, Dream oh Disney, DreamWorks makes better live action remakes than Disney. Oh, this is why DreamWorks is better than Disney, like. I have a feeling that's why the, that's why they're excited for this. It's not because Toothless looks quote unquote faithful to the original. Well, that well that's a, that's a bullshit though. But they just want to say they just want more excuses to say that DreamWorks is better than Disney. That's why they're excited for this one. And honestly, I am sick of this uh, Disney versus DreamWorks so war some bullshit. I, maybe I 
I might even I might even make make, make another video uh, addressing that uh, Dream Race versus Disney Wars because that has a lot of stuff. I mean, Disney's better than Dream Race, and and that should be a fact. And though I don't care if you guys think otherwise, Dream Race is better. Dream Race being being better than Disney is a correct opinion. I have the right opinions, and I don't want any any excuses. Yeah, and honestly, and honestly, I gotta say. This looks even worse than any of the live action Disney remakes. I am dead serious. Like, this could even be the worst uh, live action remake ever. Yeah, maybe I could even go that far. It is like, that's how much I hated this trailer. Now, this is the worst trailer of the year. Originally, I thought it was the worst trailer of the year, but then I, uh, on reflection, I just forgot the, about that Despicable Me 4 trailer that it came out this year. Yeah, the Despicable Me 4 trailer is still the worst trailer of the year, but this is this definitely comes close. And yeah, um, and yeah, um, this is going to be the worst movie of 2025. I guarantee you, this is going to be um the worst movie of uh the worst movie of uh next year. Um, I guarantee you. Yeah. Um. Support the Zootopia two uh, instead of this, yeah, because Zootopia two is not only my most anticipated movie of next year, but I think it, it it will be the best movie of next year. I don't see how any other movie can be better than that. But but in two thousand twenty four, there's been a lot of movies that are, are like surpassing my expectations. So we'll see about that. Heck, I did not even think Inside Out two would be my favorite film of the year. So there's that. Um, but yeah. Uh, for next year, yeah, I, I really don't think I'll be surprised by this, by my best and worst movies of next year, pick. Uh, but yeah, How to Train Dragon, How to Train Dragon, like, like, okay, well, but you may be wondering, why do I actually hate this trailer? Because you might think that, oh, you're just hating it because you want to hate it, or you're just incredibly biased. But trust me, I have my reasons as to why I hate this. It's not just because I want to hate it, because... Because that that's why I explained earlier that I at first I had some optimism about it because you could have at least done something with it like cast your a your good actors at it um as and and make the dragons uh, actually feel believable um what do you mean by that well I'll get to that in a bit but yeah now let's get to my problems with this trailer where the where to start like first of all. This looks like a fan-made film. I swear, this does not look like, look like a real film at all. Yeah, it looks so unfinished, but I know you're gonna say, Oh, but that's because they're not even finished. They're still, like, editing the film. They're, they're still trying to polish it. It'll look better. No, bullshit. Bullshit. That, like, this does not look like a real film made by a, a real filmmaker at all. How could a production value like this get approved? Like, it looks so, like... So dry, so nothing. It just looks fake, and not like fake as in like it, like it's a fantasy. I know, fantasy is never real, but fake as in you. It's hard to believe that you're actually watching a real movie, and let alone a movie made for IMAX. Like, fuck no. Who who's gonna watch this uh, movie in IMAX? In fact, no. I'm not even gonna what. I'm not even gonna bother watching this in theaters. Let alone not uh, HD. I'm like. I'm not gonna watch even gonna watch this in high quality. Instead, I'm gonna watch this online with a blurry camcorder camera. Because that's how I want to view the movie. I don't want I and I'm not going to watch this in HD whatsoever. I'm not gonna look at this. Yeah, the only reason I'm watching this is because I just need movies for my worst movies that's in five list. I'm sick of people just to tell me, oh frozen, if you don't like a movie, if you know the movie's gonna suck, then don't watch it. I mean if that's the case, then how am I going to do my worst movies of of thousand of the year list? Uh, and and I, I I know you're thinking that you know I I, I tend to like uh, not admit that you know a movie that I anticipate is uh, going to suck. I know I know that's kind of why because most of the time uh, movies I tend to anticipate end up living up to the hype. But yeah, I mean that it doesn't happen all the time. It's just my opinion. Uh, Yes, so uh, so don't tell me not to watch, not to watch, not to, don't tell me to not watch a bad movie because I, I, it's my choice. I can do whatever I want. Hiccup looks absolutely terrible. I'm sorry, but Nico Park. Oh, sorry, wait, no, my bad. Mason faces Hiccup, like he looks so bored. Like he he like I. It's hard for me to believe that he's act, that he's even acting. Oh, and also, 
it, it that that that's not hiccup. That looks more like a that looks more 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 like a cosplayer. Uh, like oh my goodness. Um, oh, and also um, speaking of mentioning Nico Parker, why was there no Ashton in, in in the trailer? Are they are they going to uh, waste the uh, Astrid like that? Now they did reveal an image of Astrid. Um, like. I, I, I posted it on on my Instagram and honestly I'm sorry but yeah, oh my goodness now don't get me wrong I have nothing against race swapped uh, character cast days heck I actually now like a uh, Halle Bailey in the Little Mermaid remake sure sure yes um I still hate the Little Mermaid remake but I'll admit I actually now like Halle Bailey's performance area that's like the one. Good thing about the film, and and that's a race pop casting choice. Um, but Nico Parker as Astrid, I mean, I don't see how anything good. First of all, like, why is she? Um, first of all, she does not have have the gorgeousness of uh, of the uh, animated Astrid, because Astrid is my is my dreamer's crush, and yeah, this movie like, and, and this movie like, clearly does not clearly does not do um Astrid justice. Like that, like. That, that that's not the Astrid I know. Like, yeah, you can race one male characters, but I wish that they kept Astrid with like white and blonde hair. But you you can race one male character if you want. Yeah, but yeah, no offense, to Nico Parker. But honestly, guys, I I I don't care. I don't I don't give a fuck about what anyone else says. But Nico Parker deserves to to get the backlash that Rachel Zegler get dot gets in her Snow White, like you know role. Like I'm sorry, but. Nico Parker deserves that. I mean, Nico Parker, you're a great actress, but I'm just, I'm only saying that to spite Disney, Disney haters, not because I, not because I hate Nico Parker. I mean, she was amazing in The Last of Us. Don't get me wrong. Um. Okay, so back to this one. Yeah. Now it's now. Yeah, the reason why everybody is praising this one, besides uh, the besides you know the reason to spite Disney, despite wanting to spite Disney. It's because of Toothless looking exactly like the original kind of part. Nostalgia bias much? I mean, like, this is one of the mo- one of the worst looking CGI's I have ever seen. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, oh. Like, to those of you who think that this is like, oh, the best CGI ever, a perfect CGI, oh, the, the, the CGI of the ages, you are fucking delusional. You are just delusional. You and, and blind and brain dead. Like, what the fuck is this praise going on? This, 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 like, how, how did Dreamers even approve this? Like, oh my goodness. Okay, I will say this. I actually kind of respect the filmmaker's decision to uh, that I respect the visual artist's uh, decision to make to to try to make Toothless uh, faithful to the original film, but here's the problem. I mean, the the setting is entirely live action. The world of Burke, the human characters, like good CGI in, in, in like this would have you know the the characters feel like they're actually blended well into um live live action but toothless looks so over so overly cartoony so overly animated that it it, it doesn't uh, fit well into this live action world like it, it it's so out of place in the like in this one if like you can like this you can just uh, put toothless in like in, like in another animated movie, like let's say Emoji Movie or North of the North, like but you, you, you can put two less in those worlds and he'd fit much better than than, than like than this movie. Oh, but actually, Toothless isn't even the worst thing about this move. This trailer, based on like what I've seen, you wanna know what actually I think is the worst, the the, the biggest sin that this movie uh, did. What it does to stoic. Now I'm gonna say, oh, at least they they brought Stoic back. I mean, no, 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 no. Um, like, yes, Jared Butler did an amazing job as Stoic, but here, um, like, what the fuck is this design? Uh, this look, like, he looks like he looks so bad, and he, like, like, oh my goodness, he looks so over the top, and like, 
with, with the design and the looks. It looks, it looks so unwatchable. And I think Stoic, like, Stoic is one of those like examples of you know um how this movie looks like fanfic. Just his presence and like what exactly he does and, and what he's like, um him being in this environment. That's how. That's one of the main reasons why I see this as fanfic because of this like shitty ass like like piece of crap design. Like. God, J Bus. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, you know what? I'm fucking done here. I'm done with this. Uh, talking about this, I think this movie looks awful. I think that the the fans of this are just del- are just being delusional. Like, and oh yeah, and, oh and also the fact that this movie comes out on the exact same day as Elio. Oh boy, this is gonna be a DreamWorks versus Disney battle. And honestly, guys, I'm more excited for Elio now. Like seeing like. This embarrassment come out in the same day as Elio, and, and, and it just like injects into my veins, like w- me with me like desperately wanting this movie to succeed, like at the wanting Elio to succeed at the box office and being out this disgraceful and unnecessary cash grab that was only made just for money and nothing else. Um, yeah, seriously. I mean, at least Elio is an original film, like, so please go see Elio. If people choose to watch this over Elio, and Elio bombs at the box office because of this film making all the money at the box office, then Hollywood is screwed, man. Now, yes, I'm not, Elio is not one of my most anticipated movies of next year. I can, I can spot some flaws with the trailer, but... Elio is a movie that I think I should give credit for because it's a Disney film and it's original. Maybe it could even win Best Anime Feature. Although I, although I still want Zootopia to do it, but it looks like Oscars don't support non-Toy Story sequels anymore for some reason. So yeah, this this yo know, this makes me want to apologize to, to to the live action remakes. I think I I think I might have been too harsh in the live action remakes. I still don't like them. But just by looking at this, by what DreamWorks is doing, yeah, it makes me want to owe the Life Action remake an apology. And yes, I'm still looking forward to the Snow White remake. I'm still optimistic about it. And yeah, I I, I wish that um this movie got all the uh, fan boycott uh, that, that the Snow White remake is having. But who knows? Maybe people will uh m- maybe people will, will be surprised by, by the Snow White remake and. And remember when the Lion King remake got all got so much hype from the trailers? Yeah, womp womp womp. Hopefully the same case happens to this film. Ho- fingers crossed people end up hating this movie when it comes out and and end up being disappointed. And we'll see who's right. I mean, if I can convince people convince the wicked haters that uh, Wicked was going to be a masterpiece and turns out everyone people were saying that it's a masterpiece. Maybe I could be right again, but but this time the in like the opposite way. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's all for my trailer. But yeah, but let's shed some light here, people. Let's maybe I should be a bit more positive, and that's why I'm going to give you a bonus trailer review for a Minecraft movie. Yes, I did not review the the um the the, the teaser trailer. But now I'm going to tell you my stance on the Minecraft movie and and what my expectations are. Um. Okay, uh, let me get this out of the way. This definitely looks looks like an objectively poorly made film. Uh, like just, I guess um this I agree that this move to an extent that that this movie uh would have been better animated. But I don't mind it being live action. But I do think like the the environment could have been better made in order to make these characters like feel a uh, better fitting uh, to the, the world of minecraft uh, yeah it looks a little out of place but not as much as you know uh toothless cj looking so out of place in the world of live action not to that extent oh and yeah th- th- this definitely uh is is a far better trailer than um than um you know a far better trailer than a dreadful holly train dragon remake trailer uh and yes, the teaser trailer did look like goofy. Look, it, it, it. I I thought that the movie looks like it, it was looked like it, it was going to be a so bad it's good movie. If you know what I mean. But I gotta say, this was a much. This was actually an improvement from from, from the teaser trailer. It looked like they actually improved on the CGI. Yeah. Um. Now don't get me wrong. I still have flaws with the trail with the trailer. Uh. 
I, I'm still not won over by Jack Black as Steve. I think it, it it's still a ridiculous casting choice. With your know, Jack Black just still uh, wearing a blue shirt and playing himself and claiming him he's Steve. <laughs> I am Steve. Yeah. They even opened this trailer with that infamous line, believe it or not. Oh, and also his backstory is beyond ridiculous. The, the fact that he, he wanted to... Uh, do mining as a kid and then it turns out his attempt at mining has brought him into this world yeah what a goofy premise uh, this was but I, I, I think that the CGI actually looks a lot more polished this time around it, it doesn't look like uncanny and there's some really good designs like uh, like uh, the, that dog uh, and, and especially the the bee oh man the bee looks so adorable like, I, I gotta say uh Oh, and even you even got the you know, the uh, um that 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 in the trailer that was actually dark. Yeah, with the uh, skeletons and the zombies. Yeah, I, I gotta say that that looks dark as hell. And I I like that this movie like is trying to be dark too. Has like a dark moment with that as well. And especially since it's a, it's a zombie that they're gonna deal with. Yeah, expect it to be frightening. But the main reason why I'm actually curious and optimistic about this one. It's because of Emma Myers, yeah, yep, Enid Sinclair from uh, Wednesday, and also um, a Good Girls Guide to Murder, um, a show that I'm the only one who care who saw and care about cares about. Um, yeah, uh, I love how she has makeup on her this time around. Like how uh, did makeup suddenly again to her? But either way, uh, she still looks gorgeous. I'm still watching it for her, and she she's already the best part of this movie. Yeah, so yeah, I think I'm a little more confident about this one. I think this movie will be solid at best and just meh at worst. We'll see how it turns out. I will keep an open mind. But I, I think I, I'm going to take my, some of my friends over. Uh, take, I'm going to bring some of my friends to see this because they, they like these types of movies. Like, like so, they like to watch like so bad as good movies to make fun of poorly made films in a fun way. I hope that this movie will be at least fun. That's the best I, I, I need for this film. Just fun and nothing else. So, so for my uh, trailer rant on the Holland Train Dragon uh, remake trailer and um, the uh, bonus trailer review for a Minecraft movie official trailer. What are your thoughts on both trailers? Uh, which trailer do you think is worse? Uh, like, And who agrees with me that, that Holland Train Dragon is going to suck the remake and, and, and the animated film will be far superior comment down below like subscribe hit the notification bell and stay tuned for uh, my review on wicked yes guys i have already seen wicked and i have my thoughts on it so yeah um yeah i'm i'm gonna work on it tomorrow morning in my area so yeah bye guys